Alrighty then, let's get this shit started. Hello, 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 hello. How's everyone doing? Four Button Soul here. Yes, we're doing Project Zero, made in the Blackwater. As we're in Europe. Now, let me check some options first before we get into it. General settings. Classic, vibration on, viewfinder frame off, yada yada yada. Camera sensor, it's probably good to keep that as a default. How is everyone doing? It is Monday. Oh, man, rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. Again. Can we can adjust the brightness. Yeah, we're not fucking with the brightness. Audio language, English, display language, English, reset default, graphic settings, everything's maxed out. Don't worry too much about the key configurations, let's get into it then. New game. I know you guys have been looking forward to this one, I, I, I haven't. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> yeah, we're not fucking with the brightness too much. Game is work fiction. <clears throat> Prologue. Lurking in the deep. Mew Hinasaki. Let's dive headfirst into this. Spirited away in the vicinity of Mount Hikami, people have mi been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. One such girl is Mew Hinasaki. She awakens to find herself in an old, half-flooded building. Enter the danger zone? I think we are about to enter the danger zone. Also, I haven't done hellos. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, Doc. How's it going, buddy? Thank you for the resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Let's get into the danger zone. That is... 13 whole months. That is crazy. That is nuts. We're in the danger zone. Okay, we're cool. We're in the danger zone. Alright, hello to Squad Leader, Freedom, Oscan, Tyrius Inabar, and Doc. How's it going, everyone? Did I miss anyone there? I don't think I did. Alright, let's, let's, let's get into this fucking, this fucking video game. Well, since you qualify for installments, you might have plunked down for a really expensive but nice lens for your camera. Nice, nice, nice. Camera stuff gets really expensive. I have no idea how I ended up with a girlfriend that likes horror. Because I do not. 21 day return policy, no questions if you get buyer's remorse. Nice. Speaking from experience, camera stuff does get very expensive. Very expensive. Alright. So I've cleared out my cold. I've cleared out a fucking migraine as well over the weekend, and I'm feeling good. We're ready to go. Those look like corpses. Oh yeah, you haven't cleared out your gold. Yeah, I had a I had another fucking migraine over the weekend, which was super fun. Hey, white. A core product you definitely need. The price I can uh, price I can afford. Is it some sort of uh, camera obscura? Oh, this looks like fun. Lots of ghosties. Have to get out of here. Alright, we're looking around. Alright, there's the door. Ah, oh, fuck. Try and avoid these guys. Go around. I'm using it. I'm using the left stick. Oh, you fuckers better leave me the fuck alone. Oh, there we go. I have to 
find a way out of here. Surprised, but I would definitely like it. Looks like there's a cave wall on the other side of the lattice. I can see some stone statues out in the darkness. They must be underground. Now, how do I get out of here? It's the wrong door when you played that. Had to walk all the way around. Oh, fuck that. There's a light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's a way out that way. Oh god, they're coming for me. They're chasing after me. I have to get out. Left trigger to run. No! <laughs> This contract here, nothing to pay right now. Do not read the fine print. I'm not turning you into a indentured slave. <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna have to turn around. What the fuck? These controls are. Pretty fucked. I guess this was on the Wii U. Well, yeah, this is true, but they are Japanese developers, so... What can I say? They're men of culture. Thank you for the Lurko scan. Appreciate it. What the fuck is that? There's a lot of focus on water in this as well. Oh shit. Oh, the door is magically open again. We did it, we did it. Alright, it's a little intense to start with. We're getting... We're getting a lot of shit going on. I'm sure it'll get worse. That is a lot of detail on the wet clothes, though. Also, currently investigating into a Nidoviet Hype Forge. Make even more quality, not overpriced. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there is... Uh, there is a lot of focus on water in this game, I believe. Just, I mean, judging from the title alone, it is the Maiden of Black Water, after all. What is, uh... Oh, God. This is already reminding me of Ring, with all this hair. We got tentacles. It's getting weird. Controller is riv is like heartbeat fucking rumble. Oh god. Here she comes. Hey anime guy. Dark water. I guess. Megacorp and Stellaris. Japanese tentacles sounds about right. Resident Evil knockoff? Oh man, this is like the best Resident Evil knockoff. This is Fatal Frame. She was sealed into a shrine on top of a mountain. That mountain is where the events of this story take place. We follow the fates of brief people. Yuri, Ren, and Mew. It is a terrifying tale of the supernatural. Or Project Zero if you're in Europe. Hey, Jet Fuel, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. How's it going, my dude? Is all you needed to see? Catch you later. All right. Thank you for dropping by, Terrier. Good to see you. And you get some good rest. 
And I love you. Uh, first drop. A vanishing trace. Yuri Kozukata. Shadow reading. Among the residents of the villages at the foot of Mount Hikami, a certain unique ability has been passed through the ages. This ability, known as shadow reading, enables the user to view the shadow or trace of someone lost in inexplicable circumstances. This is not unlike the psychom psychometry practice elsewhere. Yuri Kozukatu <laughs> accompanies Hisoka Kurosawa, a woman who possesses the shadow reading ability to an abandoned inn on Mount Hikami. Yeah, it's about it's yeah, it's just I'm gonna come. <laughs> Sensing Yuri could in time become talented at shadow reading. Hisoka takes her along on an assignment. I'm wondering how much um VA there actually is. <laughs> Oh, there is some VA. Am I gonna have to turn it up though? But I can't even cry. I think I might um turn the audio output a little bit up for you guys just because um I am alone. The <laughs> audio in this these games is usually pretty low. Fucking, this is why it's gonna. This is why it's gonna come to, isn't it? It's gonna be fucking sound alert city. I will end it all. Alone. Oh shit! What we're looking for should be in here. That looks this like a camera obscura. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. this. Is a camera obscure. It will let you see the unseen. <laughs> Hold on. Including the clues that will help you find unseen. Oh, the only thing that's loud in this game is some bitch complaining this about her eyes. <laughs> yeah, I fucking remember that. <laughs> yeah, that that was like non fucking stop the last time. Let's start with a little practice. It works exactly like a normal camera. Give it a try. Just hold up the camera. You find a repair on the screen. Right stick to look around. The camera obscura photographs the netherworld. A whole other world separate from our own. I'll get by pressing right trigger. Soko Kurosawa. That world that we see through the lens is not unlike the awkward. Make sure not to draw too much interest from the things you see. If you aren't oh. careful, you might be drawn into the netherworld for yourself. Oh, you can fucking... Okay, we can do fucking portrait and landscape. Interesting. Oh, you can lock on. Noise, noise. Okay, that's new. It wasn't exactly Never used it like this. Interesting, interesting. Fallout's uh, anniversary today. I did just see that, actually. It was on uh, Game Pass. You got the post-mortem photograph. It will help lead you to what we're looking for. Alright, in we go, I guess. But be sure to stay on your guard. Go on. Oh. That's the map. Okay, cool. Behind Ichiru Manor. And then there's the Mikamori Bridge. Head inside. I mean, there are some anime titties. Snap mode. Oh, okay. So there's like a this is like picture mode, photo mode.
Yeah, I mean, there's 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 costumes available for this. And the the anime titties are sizable. Alright, we're gonna exit snap mode. All right, in we go. Uh, so this is slightly more disjointed than um, the usual Fatal Frame or Project Zero games. As far as I know, there's like more characters, you know. Man, we got billion dollar boob physics in our ghost game. Why are the why are the why have we got billion dollar boob physics in this? I'm concerned, but not surprised. Keep a scrap wood at the end of the hallway. Wall must have washed it all down here. There's a hole in the wall. I can see the next room over. Looks to be just as flooded. Never question the jiggle. I mean, I'm not really questioning it. I'm just... Well, I'm, I'm kind of questioning it. It is worth questioning in this instance. <clears throat> oh, you look like a spooky ghost, sir. I'm gonna come! <laughs> oh, man. I missed you guys last week. So far, a little less scary than uh, previous. I think... Uh... Nice car! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there's one behind you. Oh. <laughs> I guess they, uh, disappeared. Can I swim on out here? I guess not. That is some serious fucking jiggle. <laughs> like I turn around and she's just standing there like boy oi 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 oi. Hey Will, thank you for reminding me I don't suck. How's it going, buddy? I see you've been battling with a uh with a horror game this uh spooky season too. The token is showing me the way. Canadian Thanksgiving? Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot it was Canadian Thanksgiving today. Let's follow that shadow. I wanna go this way though. I'm busy doing other stuff that's not important to the plot. Like making the boobies bounce. Jiggling, wobbling, or bouncing, are they even boobs? This is true. Windows in this whole hallway have all been nailed shut. Alright, we're going this way. We're following the trace. There's something at the end of this hallway, though, and I'm gonna go and grab that before. Uh... This is surely smart, right? What the f? Oh man, I have to hold down RT to pick. Mount Hikami's downfall. An old dusty book has been left in the hallway. Maybe someone dropped it. I have something shut. Mount Hikami has long been considered holy ground. 
For centuries, people have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the tw Twillet Peak and the Pool of Purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for the beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to find rest at Ichiru Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide it suffered many years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off, and the flow of the water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads that were under construction had been abandoned, and Ichiru Manor was buried under a slew of rock, resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Ichiru Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Hikami's days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Perhaps because it was traditionally a destination to which the dying would venture, the mountain's now a place for those wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill-seekers interested in the occult. Great. Alright, he went this way. That was... Echoes of the past. Alright, alright. And Logan Paul. Yeah, Logan Paul loves it up here. Hey, Rommel, how's it going, buddy? Uh, in places where the traces of the past are very strong, you may be able to view echoes of the past. Photographing them will earn you photo points, which can be used to upgrade the cameras. Okay, so we need to make sure we... Uh, Get the old camera up. Hold on. Did I miss anything this side? There is a door. Don't open it that slowly. Come on. Oh, good. There's a little doll thing on top of there. Lovely. Beautiful. Step up here and this part has floorboards. I think this was a display alcove. Can I not check that weird fucking doll? Alright, I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, it's been about a week. Touch the door, it's gonna move. Back you up, dream on. <laughs> Alright, we got a little upscale action. Trust the Japanese. Maybe it's in this room. Maybe. But the door is locked. Try using <laughs> <laughs> Tutorial Psychic Photographs. When you look around through the lens of the camera obscura, you may notice it reacting to objects which are not normally visible. Lock on and photograph them to expose places or items they have connection with. Find the locations from the photographs, and you may discover some cl clues there as well. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's back in there. Son of a bitch. I just went in that room. Something in the photo. A light coming out of a closet, and there is a doll on top of a chest of drawers. This might be where the key is. View the photograph again, yada yada yada. Oh yeah, I'll just I'll just go alone. That's a real fucking smart idea. I'm gonna go. Oh fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. And why you gotta open it this slowly and obscure so much of the room? Oh, look. Suddenly. Oh, this makes it so much worse. You have to hold right trigger to fucking... 
pick up items. So the whole time I'm picking up the item, I'm holding right trigger. It's like I'm reaching out for it. And I know the controller's just going to be like, <laughs> and I'm going to be like, fuck you. Fuck this game. I'm out. Key on a red keychain. I might open that door from before. Go back to Hisoka. All right. I know where I'm going. Let's go. Fuck you. Man looking at a key. The ghosts are definitely less scary in this, I think. At least so far. What the fuck was that? I think that was just a glitch. Fucking what? Hey, I got the key. Should we go inside? He's gonna open this. Why do you have to open it like that? Just rip that shit open. Take a look around. There was definitely someone. Hold on. Something there. Phantom Expose. Camera obscura react to items that are normally hidden from the eyes of the living. You can bring those items back to this world by photographing the place they were taken from with the correct angle and position. Oh, there we go. Kick the door. That's what I'm doing from now on. I'm kicking down all the doors. Taking names. Getting spoops. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the game is setting me up for something where I'm like holding right trigger to pick something up. That and picks a dead wife who's. Stay here any longer than we need to. I'm gonna be holding right trigger to pick something up, and then it's gonna fucking vibrate the controller violently, and something's gonna fucking All jump out. All of the out birds died in 1986 due to Reagan killing them the and replacing them with spies that are now watching us. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. True. There's a hundred percent true fact. Reagan killed all the birds and replaced them. With spies. Motherfucker. If you think I'm going in that room, you got another thing coming. Searching for objects like we did just now might be easy, but searching for people is much more difficult. Psychometry How the fuck did you get up there so fast? end up seeing something you wish you hadn't. There's a dude there. There was definitely a dude there. Harsh and intrusive lesson by the penal system. <laughs> penal. Hey, Riona. Good to see you. We are just enjoying some fatal frame. Maybe. Fuck you. I knew it was going to be there as well. I was like, yep, yeah, I knew it was going to be there. Motherfucker. Oh, you're gonna put us into a situation where we have to. Ghosts will try to attack or grab you. Are 
You have to take pictures of it if it grabs you. Best recoiled when you took photograph of it. Maybe taking more wax size it for good. Alright, fighting ghosts. Photograph ghosts. Weak points to deal damage. The, cap the capture area. Rectangle in the center of the screen is your area of attack. You can't take photos of your out film. I really fucked that up. I got him. Or did I? Spirit fragments. Break off when a ghost takes damage. After a time, they reabsorb. Photograph the fragments before that happens. Targets in the chance. Five or more targets are in view. Taking a photograph will knock back the ghosts. Capture error will go red during a shutter chance. Keep adjusting your position so you have at least five targets, including ghosts and spirit fragments. Trigger a shutter chance. There we go. Noise. Okay, they made that a little bit more challenging. Fine ghost indicated by the spirit filament. Fail frame and fail time. Capture arrow flashes red as the ghost is attacking. You can take fatal frame shot. You need to capture the ghost mid attack. Apart from knockback effect, fail frame shots trigger fatal time. I mean, you can take photos in close succession without using film. Mail frame shots are very useful when spirits too close, so if you trigger a shutter jump. Continuously shoot photos during a fail frame. Attack range, attack power, camera obscura has un only has an effect on ghosts within a specific range. Ghosts that are too far away will not take any damage. The bigger the target, the more damage the camera will deal. Get close to ghosts for more powerful shots. Alright, let's banish him. Hey, get back here, you. Noise. Hey, what are you doing? Get back here. You can't be like hiding behind the walls, dude. You gotta, you gotta stay where I can see you. Put your hands where I can see them. You are under arrest by the ghost camera police. Alright, I think I got him. That was a lot to kill, like, an early dude. Yeah, that's a lot of detail on wet clothing, and I'm, I'm kind of here for it. Especially considering this is a Wii U game, initially. A Wii U game. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought you here. Granted, this is like a... a I think this is just a port. So I don't think there's like massive changes to anything. But yeah, this is a Wii U game. Alone. For a haunted indicator? It might be in places. I can probably see that. Like maybe in the in the game, like the main game, because we're just in a tutorial. That kid's got a big head. Why is that why why is that kid got such a big head? A 
they really do like do that in a lot of Japanese media. Like the kids have giant heads. I watched uh, Kotaro Lives Alone recently, and um, yeah, that that kid's got a big head. <laughs> that was well timed. Alright, into the wet box she goes. I mean, I can think of worse places to be than a wet box. Archetype thing they show kids with larger heads and eyes to show off youth and innocence. This is true. Um, Mr. Hojo? Mr. Hojo, what the hell is this Final Fantasy Seven? Oh, Ahsoka, what does she want? She found the photo book. She did? Yeah, here, take a look. Yeah, this this audio on this game seems really low, even for me. And I haven't been messing with my speaker settings for a while. He looks pretty shocked by the, these photographs. Tried to crossbreed a dog and an alien girl, Hojo. Could be. He's now gonna crossbreed a, a alien girl and a and a ghost. While learning about shadow reaching from Hisoka, Yuri used the f ability to retrieve an album of post-mortem photographs from a ruined inn on Mount Hakami. The album was requested by a certain Ren Hojo. As Ren awoke from a bad dream, he found himself tormented by uncertainty. Was it really just a dream? Or a suppressed childhood memory? This question has plagued him for some time. These aren't the feet pics I asked for. <laughs> I volunteered to crossbreed this ghost. Oh man, just a C rank? Alright, second drop. Let's go. <clears throat> Find Fuyuhi Himano. Yeah, normal is fine. I've got a bunch of herbal medicine. Bunch of type 14 film. What? That's really expensive. Only be purchased once. Lens allows you to experience spiritual phenomena. That's not really going to be worth it, but fuck it. Let's get 10 of those just in case. <clears throat> Mount Takami, second drop, Yuri Kozukatu. A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to shadow reading at the abandoned inn. Since then, Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned. Yuri worries for Hisoka, but isn't sure how or where to start searching. As she sits waiting at the at antique shop, a girl named Fuyuhi Himino shows up claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person. Ten more days until Persona 5 Royal, let's fucking go! And then uh, Persona 3 and 4 on Game Pass, as of, I think it was like the 12th of January. Hey, Spencer. How's it going, buddy? But yeah, it won't be long until we get, uh, I'm, I'm pretty hyped for Persona 3, to be honest. P3 Portable is, is, is looking pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, PC and console, modern consoles. Um, excuse me, hello? Including Switch. Um, <clears throat> which I might play on Switch Sawa because, you know, here? Portable. She stepped out. My name is Fuyuhi Himino. Fuyuhi Himino. I'm waiting for her to tell me if, if she could help me find someone. 
Well, it's good to know that they haven't upgraded the uh, voice actors since the first game, so... Looking for someone? <laughs> he might have gone to the mountain. Mount Hikami. Mount Hikami. Someone told me that they saw my friend there. It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? I don't know why Haruka would go to a place like that. He is looking a little ghostly. Even saying a word to me. Especially compared to our heroine here. Don't worry. Who is looking back, I'll tell her. pretty I'll tan. That's fine. I can't wait any longer. I'll go look for her myself. I mean, that's a weird dress, right? Like, that looks weird. <laughs> I like how she just spawns in and it's like, bo -bo -bo -bo. <laughs> A missing person case. Ahsoka left a few days ago and hasn't been back. Maybe this is what she's been working on. Ahsoka's room is upstairs. Maybe she left some clues as to her whereabouts. I've always felt weaker because all people have to do is stop going to that mountain versus like free, which struck at people who are grieving while they slept. Ground is just trampolines. See, I've only played one and two. Uh, one was fucking horrifying because it just had that amazing atmosphere. And two, I didn't play a lot of. I think we, we only played like the first couple of hours of the second game. All right, we're going upstairs. The jank lab age better. I think you're right. These drawers seem to be where the shop's receipts and financial records are kept. I have not taken a proper look through them yet. All right. Uh, uh, well, I guess I've got to go this way. Open the slowest doors of my life. That way. I mean, I don't need to go this way, but there might be something useful here. Uh, definitely mountain. I ain't reading it. It's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. Well, I updated my notes, so there we go. Wait, there's a PC tower there. Okay, we got a lot of jank here. I, that's TV. You know, whatever. Yeah, there's quite a bit of jank in this, to be fair. Like, it's not... But then, I guess that's what you get with these games. You get a little bit of jank, which just makes them a little bit weird. All right, we're going upstairs. Was it left? Yeah, it was left to run. Was it this room? Soka gave me this room when I moved in. It used to be her bedroom. It's been a while since I moved in, but I still haven't unpacked anything. Well, there might be something useful here. Big pile of cardboard boxes. Haven't touched them since I moved in. Okay, I guess there's nothing useful here. Yeah, I just, I really liked Fail Frame 1. But I would like kind of a touched up version of it just because I fucking soft locked myself on it because I'm smart this is Hisoka's room she really likes traditional Japanese style yeah lost item case files seems to be notes on Hisoka's shadow reading cases Storeroom key. Wait, storeroom key? Ah, 
Out of shadow reading. Why is there... There's a read. There's a spooky ghost inside. There isn't a spooky ghost inside. Get a lot more generous with film in later entries. Yeah, the second one I was like... I was pretty film rich. After like two hours. And I was also herbal medicine rich after two hours. Uh, open envelope. Alright, we might actually need to read this. this must be Fuyuhi's missing person request. Maybe it could provide some clues as to where Hisoka and Fuyuhi went. Dear Miss Kurosawa, uh, please find Haruka. She went missing over a week ago. You do still take on missing person cases, don't you? I've contacted the police, but they're no help. They say she was probably spirited away. Haruka wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me. I'm certain something bad has happened. I can handle my own grief, but I can't stand the thought of her suffering somewhere. What if she's waiting for me to find her? Oh, excuse me. I'm worried sick. Haruka is still alive, I know it, but something has to be done, and quick. Remember, when you found that precious picture of me and Haruka, I was so happy to have it. Now I need your help, once again. Hey, Nebek, how's it going, buddy? This photograph with the letter it shows for you, he looking shy, and another girl. They look close, they do look close. Ahsoka, she must have gone to Mount Hikami to look for this girl. Yeah, I'm doing alright. We were, uh... We're playing a little bit of uh, Fatal Frame, Project Zero, whatever you want to call it. Made in a black water. Um, I don't really do horror all that well. So, uh, we're, we're doing okay. Tayo video time. Gotta do some Sanic. No worries, Rommel. Thanks for dropping by and thank you for the luck, my dude. Mount Akami, for you he is somewhere on this mountain. Should be able to use this picture of her to find her trace. Oh, there's the trace. Wait, does that mean she's already dead? Alright, she went that way. Alright. Alright, what are we going to find in the pool of purification? I'm sure it won't be very pure, whatever it is. Alright, off to the left it is. Or maybe not. I'm going to check here. Rose collapsed and stone stairs got off. It must have been landslide. The old road seems to carry up, carry on up the edge of the cliff. All right. I'm probably not going to want to hold that down all the time. There appears to be something over there. Yeah, I'm assuming she's gone this way. Something on the ground. Of course there is. What are we picking up? Ah, oh, fuck off. I knew you were going to do that. Fucking game. I knew it was going to do that. I knew it was fucking going to... I fucking, I fucking hate horror games. <laughs> Sometimes a ghost hand will appear when you try to reach for an object. Release right trigger at the right moment to dodge it. If you do get grabbed, use left stick and right stick to break their hold on you. Alright, can I grab this this time? Doris brochure. Penis! Hey, TK. Thank you for the hug. I will be needing many hugs, I think, by the end of this stream. Doris brochure, I wonder if Fuyuhi dropped it. It has a map of the mountain. 
Kurosawa's antiques marked on the map this should be very useful. This is the way from the pool of purification to the unfathomable forest. It's always some kind of forest. Uh, from the main menu. Alright, map. I want to look at the fucking... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. It's whatever. You know what I'm kind of annoyed by on this? Is not being able to move the uh, flashlight all that well. Alright. Oh, I don't have the camera? What the fuck? Waterfall is beautiful as it flows down. A lot of people probably came to see this back when the mountain was a tourist destination. Looks like there's something under the waterfall. What's it going to be this time? Purifying embers. What do they do? Coals that light the forbidden flame. They dry you. Remove the taint of the black water. Okay, cool. Wetness gauge on the lower right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. I mean, you don't need a wetness gauge. Ladies. <laughs> If you get drenched, you'll become an easy target for malevolent spirits. Use purifying embers to dry yourself off. Uh -huh. What the fuck was that? It's the moistometer. <laughs> it is the moistometer. Penis? The only wetness gauge I use is my dick. <laughs> Herbal medicine. Pills made from a myriad of herbs. Consume them will restore some health. We got fucking wetness meter here. Everyone's getting moist. Alright, she's going that way. Just gonna look over here. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. I'm not a fan of how the fucking. Every time I focus that, it does like that fucking, like, weird noise, like. Like, it's not loud, but it would be. If it was in a movie. Alright, so she goes off that way. There's something else on the ground here. More purifying embers. Man. I keep getting like little fucking things as well saying, hey. There's something behind you. Or there's something over here. Something in the water. Oh man, that something's definitely going to grab me if I grab this. Ah, Soka's Camera Obscura. Actually need that. Old film. It's not effective at exercising ghosts. Takes a long time to load. A stun lens. A lens that forcibly staggers the photograph subject. Use it, equip your camera obscure, and press X when you have enough spirit power. The switch upgrade. This allows you to equip and take pictures with different lenses. Now use the camera obscura. Light 14. 
Wait. It's type 07 and we have infinite that. Yeah. Someone else said, Oh, fuck you. Get out of here, you fucking ghost. Oh, there's fucking everyone everywhere. They're all over the place. Am I fucking limping, or am I just in the water? <laughs> Fuck you for that. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite sound alerts. Alright, Camera Obscura must have been carried here by the current. This means the Soaker is on the mountain too. I should focus on finding Fuyuhi first. You can't have gone far. Do I need to... You know... That's the wrong thing. How much herbal medicine have I got? I probably didn't need to use that, but whatever. Alright, the moist Omiya doesn't seem to be going up, which is ultimately a good thing. Ibuki? Ibuki. On the scene. We got him. Yo, Riona. How's it going? I know you've been there, but yo. <laughs> I actually was playing a little bit of uh, Street Fighter 4, Ultra Street Fighter 4, with uh, Wily a little while ago. And found that I actually did remember how to use fucking Ibuki. Hmm. All right, there's a fork in the road. The plants here are slightly different than the ones below the pool. I must be close to the unfathomable forest. Not the unfathomable forest. That's unthinkable. Me fail English? That's impossible. Someone's been cutting into the fence. Fuyuhi Himono. I should probably switch that to fucking those. Wait. Feel like I'm gonna get grabbed for you, he's note. Torn note lying on the ground. Uh, fucking hell, this is a note. It's a note. It's a four page note. I looked into Mount Hikami. It's always been a spiritual place. Not spiritual as in holy, but spiritual as in filled with the spirits of the dead. Maybe that's why it's a suicide spot. Haruka wouldn't go to die alone, though. Not without telling me. The book said people get spirited away to the mountain. They get called towards it and disappear alone. Apparently we're getting a, um... A remaster of the, uh... Of the, I think it's the most recent... Uh, fail frame game. There's a brief essay. The book said people get spirited away, disappear... Get called towards it and disappear alone... I read how it calls to people who are perceptive, anxious, meek, and who lack family. My heart skipped a beat when I read that. It was describing Haruka perfectly. She's so kind and accepting. She always opens up to me. She's alert, even when she seems to be spacing out. She knows what I'm thinking. Maybe she was spirited away. <laughs> Neat eating mountain. <laughs> Oh, 
But where do people go when they're spirited away? The more I think about it, the scarier it gets, and the more my heart starts pounding. See, I can't think of Spirited Away without fucking Spirited Away, the Ghibli movie. And I'm not, then I just, it doesn't sound scary to me. It's just like, ah, oh, they're gonna, like, steal her name and make her work in a bathhouse. All right, we're going this way. We're in the unfathomable forest. It really is unfathomable. Uh, stone lanterns along the road to the shrine have all been lit. That's ominous, because that was always fucking ominous in uh, the first one, when everything was fucking lit for no reason. I'm assuming we're just going to go straight on here. There's something here, though. So a shrine. Someone by the shrine on the other side of the river. Was it Puyuhi? Could be. She looks like she's going that way, though. It looks like I'm not going to get across this. Oh, you motherfucker. Get back in that fucking river, you fucking river ghost. Ah, I'm getting this shit down. What the fuck is that? You done? Thank you. Jeez. What, what the hell was that guy's problem? He's just like, he wouldn't die. Again. Wow, she like phased through this log. Maybe she is a ghost after all. Oh, man. <clears throat> hey, this can't be a neat eating mountain. She was still in education. She looks a little lost here. Yeah, I may as well take these pictures since, uh... They give us bonus uh, XP or whatever. Something's gonna grab me. No, it isn't. Oh, another note. I wonder how many pages this one will be. Oh, free notes. Free, free page note this time. <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> I was singing earlier today because I'm, like, preparing for... For a potential karaoke stream. And my so my throat is now sore. I'm like, we just got over this. <laughs> I don't know what to do now that Haruka's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children. Now she's gone. I realize how important she is to me. How irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking I could have done something when she left that day. Maybe if I'd said something, I could have stopped her from going. The waiting is unbearable should have been the one to disappear. It should be me. If Haruka comes back, there's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. Maybe she's already known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyway. I have to tell her. For you, he's been here. I can use this note to pick up her trace again. Oh, what up? I could do without you just hanging out there, you know. Oh, 
<laughs> like with all the fragments and everything, it does feel like it makes this a lot easier. Wait, is she still fucking going? What up? There we go. I said the joke first. What? Hanging out? There was a sparkly over here. Okay, she went that way. But there's two sparklies here. There's one there. And there's one down there. What are you... Type 61 film. Noise. Man, this forest seems like it's going to be a pain in the dick. Alright, I think we made it to the other side of that bridge. All these lanterns are lit. You know... You can't blame me for doing the low-hanging fruit. That's weird. It will let me go into the water. I'm gonna run across this bridge because I don't like it. Alright, we're at the other side. Fuck you. Oh no. Do we have to do this? I hate dolls. I hate dolls so much. Oh, God, oh, it's so creepy. Ugh. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Alright, countless dolls are lined up around the shrine. Maybe the shrine used dolls in its ceremonies. They look like they've been out here for quite some time exposed to the elements. Yeah, let's back away from the dolls. Fuck. I gotta walk past the dolls. I hate dolls so much. And they always put dolls in these games. Oh, cool, she's going into the building where the dolls are. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't no, I'm not really fine, and I can't get into it, because they'll never understand. And... He's fucking... Oh, now we got... Door shut, doesn't look like Fuyihi went into the shrine. Doesn't it? Okay, we got a note. Is something going to grab me? No, we're good. Alright, it's a page from a notebook on the ground. Looks like for you, he's handwriting. Haruka and I have been close since kindergarten. We sang a song together at graduation. It was called The Song of Memories. Go cook some dinner. I can tell you back. Alright, no worries, Doc. Thank you for lurking. Uh, Haruka and I looked at each other when we sang together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. If I even hum that tune, I start to tear up. Okay, there's a fucking child. Alright, we're not going in there. We're following this race. Wherever this trace may lead. Girl watching from behind. Times two. Ah, fuck, they disappeared. Creepy children is another thing. I mean, children are weird as, enough as it is. But creepy children. Eh. Yeah. 
I gotta admit, this one has not been as bad as the first two. The first two games in this series are genuinely scary. Other than like the act, like the fucking jump scares when you grab items, which is bullshit, by the way. Fuck that. This has been pretty tame. And I'm relatively comfortable with it. I just know that most of the ghost stuff is going to be around water as well, which uh, means that now the sound of running water is going to put me on fucking edge, which is great. It's super fantastic. Hey, purifying embers. That's what we want. We want to be purified. Is that one of those... Uh, Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh my god. She just fell out of the fucking sky. What the fuck? Having this hole open in the ground. Looks like water is collecting the bottom. If I fell in, I don't think I could climb back out. Thank you for reminding me I don't suck, Riona. Oh, oh my god. That was hilarious. Where's that item? Uh, uh, okay, we're good. And now it's just like, yeah, this is the thing. Now it's just every time I go to pick up an item, because I know something can grab me, I'm just gonna be like, oh, oh, is it gonna, oh, oh. And it's not scary after the first time. It does like lull you into a false sense of security by not doing it all the time. But yeah, I, I agree, Riona. This is not as tightly planned, like... Walking through the rope room in, um, in Fail Frame 1 for the first time, and even later in the game, like, walking through the rope room in that game is horrible. It is awful. Parent suicide note. I like it here. I can die alone here. There's no one to stop me. I can take things slowly. A peaceful, dignified death. Life is nothing but misery and suffering. I'm sick of it. Oh yeah, the rope stuff is very spoopy. Like, the rope room is probably one of my least favorite rooms. That and the kimono room. But just because they're so fucking creepy. Ah. Uh -huh. And she is. This will surely be smart just to run to her. It won't be a spooky ghost. Yeah, this is this is considerably less scary than She's here. the uh, I, the first two games. Find her. <gasps> By all account, I mean uh, maybe I need to check out the third game. But by all accounts, the third game's quite spoopy. Like tomorrow, more incredible MegaCorp <laughs> product. All right, White, thanks for dropping by. Always good to see you, buddy. It's been a little while. And you have a great night's sleep and uh, bake that bread in the morning. Why did the two of us survive? We made a promise that we'd all die together. I mean, it's kind of got the similar atmosphere, but it's definitely missing something, and I can't quite place it. Maybe it's because I played the first two. Like, if I played this before playing the original and the sequel. To join the others. Oh, learn shit. Nice. <laughs> that was good timing for a sexy sax.
But I think I mean I will play this through this this spooky season. It's definitely less offensive to me than the the first two games. All right, back to the pool of purification. Lead. Okay, she's just gonna follow. Uh, and I'm gonna have to use the map. So we're straight, and then uh, right, left, right, left. Straight, okay. Right, left, right, left. To start with. Hold up, okay, straight for her. Oh shit. Shit. Got him. Probably shouldn't have been running, so that's on me. That's entirely on me. Entirely on me. Alright, so. Man, it's so annoying that the start button is the, uh, is the map, not the select button. I don't need that shit. We're going left. <laughs> Alright, we're going this way. What is that noise? That was not like a, a good noise. That was a fucking ghost noise. It was. Okay. Keep up. Because I ain't fucking waiting for you. You can stay in this fucking forest. So help me God. I will turn this camera around. Alright, off to the left. And here's shit. Fuck. There's there's so much shit making noise, and I don't appreciate it. Yeah, I think there's definitely there's something, over here. something to be said for uh, the first two games and the way that they build atmosphere in comparison to this. What do we got? Is it a ghost? Nope. Dude, you can't just sneak up behind me like that. It's very unsettling. I mean, you're a very unsettling looking girl as it is. So, can you not? Oh, here we go. What is she doing? Oh, fuck. Yay, ghost children. My favorite. Alright, are they done? Fucking ghost children, why? There's still one kicking around. No, there isn't. We're good. Now, fucking... Why are you gonna go towards the fucking dollhouse? I don't like this. Where the fuck did she go? 
Oh, please tell me she's not going to go in there. Hey, come back here, you. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's here. Yeah, but like, that won't open. Come on, let's go. God. Wait, that wasn't lit up before, was it? I'm pretty sure that building wasn't lit up before. Is she coming, or what? Okay, she's coming. She's just coming very slowly. God damn <laughs> fucking... You know how, like, you, uh, cut Ashley around in Resident Evil 4? Somehow this is worse. Something on the riverbank. Something on the riverbank. I'm gonna get grabbed here. Okay, maybe I'm not going to get grabbed here, but it is going to trigger a cutscene. And... Spooky ghosts. Fucking hell. Oh, she just wants to make out. Grab this ass. Where are you? God damn it. Oh, and it's raining. The moistometer is on. was Hisoka's favorite. Must have been carried here by the river, just like the camera obscura. But the evade upgrade, this allows you to detect threats capable of being dodged. For you, he isn't here. I have to find her. Oh man, the moist on me is ramping up. I don't like the way this girl's singing. Guarantee I'm getting grabbed if I fucking grab this, but... Where the shit is she? Where the fuck did she run off to? Alright, fine. I could do without fucking shit like that in the subtitles. Play with me forever. That sounds like some weird fucking. Oh, she's gonna fucking. Where the hell did you get that? She's gonna become an hero. Is she even there? Is she just seeing shit? Oh, fuck. Oh, she's still got the sword. See? You were right, she was pale. Oh, I need to press A to dodge. That's just training me to dodge.
Oh shit. She almost fucking nothing personnel kid to me. Oh fuck. She's on the move again. And again. Smash. Why? Why? Is this the same damn ghost? But why indeed? But why indeed? It's not giving off any of those, like, spirit orb things. Why won't you die? Again. Keeps backing up. Keeps backing off as well, which is really weird. There we go. Holy shit. He's a ghost and a bitch! <laughs> Touch a weakened ghost that triggers a fail glance and you will see its memories. Touch the defeated ghost. Gotta grab her by the boob. Oh, she just fucking found that knife. Just hanging out in the river. Nani? Nani the fuck? Okay, we got a little bit more uh, sort of depth to these uh, to these ghosts and what the fuck they're doing. I like the red on the black and white. I like. I've always been a big fan. No longer leave this place. <laughs> Hey, welcome in, Lanishu. Good to see you, good to see you. I remember that you can no longer leave this place from the first game. You cannot leave the mountain. It's the maiden tainted. Ghost attacks may leave you tainted by black water. If this happens, your health will continuously decrease. Use purifying embers or defeat all present ghosts to remove it. I ain't letting you near me with your taint. Wait, I swear I had to photograph her feet just then, just to... As you go serious, invite the release and Kami no Kamen. Oh shit! That was a good fail frame. Noise. A 
Watch out for pirates in the dark water, this is true. Shit, now I've got the taint. No, not the taint. Wrong button. Also wrong button. <laughs> That's the right button. Alright, let's use some purifying embers. A little bit of herbal medicine never hurt. We've got some strong film here. Let's fucking snap that shit. Alright, where's she gone? Oh, she did nothing personnel kid me. Almost. Yeah, it takes a little while to, uh... Yeah, this is a really good series, actually. Like, I'm quite... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of this series. I've, I've never finished any of the games, but I'm a fan. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Sukehami no Cayman is, um, is that the, I think we were talking about that a little bit earlier, and it's like one of the more recent ones, wasn't it on the, was it the one that was on the Wii U, because wasn't this one on the Wii, she's the one that brought through Yuhi here, the one who made her do that thing that is probably a TOS, too dangerous. I can't stay here. I'll have to go back for now. I don't know about that. Uh, we want... Yeah, that's what we want. Where the shit? Okay, I think I know where I'm... I just have to follow this... Pathway. And hope for the best, I guess. Try not to get too tainted. the rocks I can see the stone lanterns by the pool it looks deserted hold up okay we can't go that way all right let's try and run through as quick as we can I guess but yeah I've never I've never actually finished a uh, people frame slash project zero game before I am very wet the uh that was the one that never poured over this was the Wii U one right Need me to add a sound alert? Because one and two are just too spooky. Like, this is a really great series. No worries, Rihanna. It's always good to see you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And a great stream. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a quick uh, shout out for uh, Riona in the chat. All right. While searching for a friend, Fuyuhi Himeno ended up taking her own life. Having witnessed Fuyuhi's final moments, Yuri knows what knows she wasn't alone when she died. What of that other woman who killed herself in the same way? Not to mention the mysterious shrine maiden, sudden from the rain. Yuri managed to locate Hisoka's camera obscura, along with a charm she's always liked to wear. But now, she must return to the antique shop alone. No worries, Riona. No worries. Alright, we got a bee. A bee! Alright, nice. Oh, wait. We have... Ah, oh, it's a lot of points. I mean, I have a lot enough points for the swimsuit, but... Uh, 
Right, third drop, Ren Hojo. Uh, Ren Hojo, the author who sent Hisoka to find the photographs, takes a closer look at the album. One photo catches his eye and he decides to investigate further. He goes to the inn with a camera obscura and Rui, his assistant. Alright, we got plenty of herbal medicine. We got a whole bunch of film. I'm gonna grab some of these, because I did the last time. Can only be purchased once. I don't know what that does. Can't link it? Oh man. Alright, postmortem photography. Run, she's a ghost. 3.3 second one by the Arcana code. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I could probably do this. I can do this while we're live. I can I can do this while we're live. That's the fucking she's a ghost Anna bitch from uh, ghost stories, isn't it? Okay, let's let's Where's my dashboard? There we go. Uh, let's preview it. Run! She's a ghost and a bitch! <laughs> Alright, we're putting that one in the extension. Alright, that should be done and done. Alright, Ren Hojo, a writer, is haunted by a recurring dream in which he kills a young girl during a ritual. He receives an album of post-mortem photographs located on his request by Hisoka. Uh, upon viewing one of the photos, Ren recognizes the very scene from his dreams. Eager to delve further into this puzzling mystery, Ren heads to the abandoned inn in person, this time bringing along his assistant Rui Kagamiya. Kagamiya. I'm bad at names. I'm bad at pronouncing Japanese names. <clears throat> I'm almost as bad at pronouncing Japanese ma names as this man is at growing a mustache. That the girl you murdered in your dreams, or perhaps in real life? Die with me. <laughs> His assistant is a boy, right? Or is it a, a girl? Like a young girl or a young She's boy? Beautiful, but she looks sad too. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Isn't she the type of woman that you get nervous around? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, cold out. <laughs> Aren't you bad with the ladies? There may be more of this stuff out there. Shall I call Hisoka? No, let's go there ourselves. It'll be quicker that way. At this hour? It won't take long. <laughs> Man. Part of me is like, maybe I should just so put then, the, uh, the camera obscura? Japanese VA on this. If you haven't used it yet, this could be your chance. Oh, that's the old it's camera like obscura. Off about that place. Okay. My camera obscura is on the desk, because Oka sent it back after appraising it for me. I should take that shadow reading report with me too. It may come in handy. Rui's always complaining about me leaving things on the sofa. Alright, let's go. Antique looking camera on the desk. Ren's camera obscura. Got the measure upgrade. Displays the current health of a locked on enemy. Nice. Unfinished manuscript. Doesn't yet have a title. I'll need more materials to solidify the theme. I ain't reading it. Uh, Soka's letter. You left me. Oh my! 
God, six pages. Cover on your camera obscura is broken, but seems it originally had a box shape. I doubt you'd sell it to me, but I would like to borrow it for a while. If you don't mind, I'm happy to compensate. Please think it over. All right, shadow reading report on the sofa. Maybe some information I could use. Series report. Ojo Residence is there. Makimori Pond. There's a lot of water there. We've been tidying up again. Might be on one of these shelves. Came across this book while researching Mount Hikami. The Maiden Slayer. Fan is always bad. Yeah, the, the VA in the early games is really bad as well. But, um... For the most part, like I'm a I'm a anime kind of guy, but I'm a really lazy anime watcher, so I usually just leave the English VA on. <laughs> and there are some instances where the English VA is still really good. It's a lot of text. Bruce Journal. Mr. Hojo can't clean up after himself. For someone who's lived alone for so long, he's incapable of housework. He can't cook, and he's bad at tidying up. <laughs> it's almost sunset. We should hurry. Yeah, let's go. I did know someone in high school who got the nickname the Virgin Slayer. Like Jesus Christ. There's a local superstition warning people not to go up Mount Hikami after dusk. Well, I would also recommend it. Hours, it'll show you like, a don't form. do it. It's true form. <laughs> Only those who wish to die. I mean, wandering around in forests in the middle of the night, not really a great idea. Probably would advise against it. I think that's the inn where the album was found. This must be Ichiru Manor. So, do you think you'll be able to use the camera obscura? I might. I think you should try it out first, just to be sure. Okay. Are we getting another two? Oh, it's a different camera obscura. This type of camera obscura allows you to take multiple photos at once. Use the multi-shot function. It's a burst fire camera. Take four photos at once, dealing more damage to the ghosts that you photograph. Taking multiple photos at once also helps to get a to get fatal frame shots. After a multi-shot, camera obscura will take longer than usual to reload the film. Keep in mind the multi-shots quickly use up a lot of film. Also, standard camera obscura lenses do not work with Ren's camera obscura. Noise. Feel free to take more pictures of you, Is the camera working? Well, you look like you, so yeah. Is that a good thing? Uh, we should go. Yes, we should. After that. Just Japanese horror protag vein. Part of this inn, the part that's further back inside. It was part of some temple or shrine. M m multi shot 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 shot. All right, so we've actually got to go into this. Into this uh, in. That's good. Okay. The album you asked for was found in the old building. Yeah, sure it looks that way. So this is the building we went in right at the very start. That's not the route I'm looking for. Camera's reacting to something. Aha. Camera Obscura has the power to photograph the invisible. Wonder if this is the same as the power Soka uses for a shadow reading. Is there something up there? Weird. Drop. 
drowned woman. Alright, this is where we fell on our ass earlier. That was weird. Hatch on the duck to shut itself. Must have been the wind, of course. Just the wind. Woman in the shadows. Man in the shadows. Woman in the shadows. There's something down here. Am I gonna get grabbed? I feel like I'm gonna get grabbed. Alright, I didn't get grabbed. We're good. Am I gonna get grabbed? I feel like I'm gonna get grabbed. I'm not getting grabbed. Old film. No effective exercise in ghosts. It takes a long time to load. Alright, so we're going this way. A bunch of fucking hands. Alright, continue going this way. Please don't let anything grab me. Also, like the the colours are way more vibrant in this in this game. Compared to the first two, because like the first two are essentially in black and white. What up? Twisting the camera is kind of cool feature to add. Hey, don't be going through the walls. That's not fair. How am I supposed to get you if you're in the wall? I fucking missed. Basically monochrome former test. We got her. There's like no reaction from the guy that we're with either. No reaction whatsoever. It's just like, yeah, this, why are you taking pictures? Like, what, what are you taking pictures of there, buddy? Oh, you know, ghosts. All right. So this should still be unlocked, right? Yeah, it seems so. At least you open the doors faster, sir. Man shrouded in darkness. Sure, what shrouded in darkness? Cameras reacting to something. Maybe I can see something through the viewfinder. Oh yeah, I have to be at the right angle. There we go. Crumpled old note has materialized. This must be what the camera was reacting to. Messy note one. Maybe it belonged to someone who lived here. How long has it been since I lost everything? The mountain swallowed up half my inn. All I have left is that old album of post-mortem photographs. One left by my father. I don't even know who these photos are of, but it's the last vestige of family I have. That's a little weird. How long have I spent here wallowing in the darkness? It doesn't matter. I'll burn it all, and then there will only be me. I think I'll end up in the observation room on the roof. Sunset is lovely up there. I even know the fucking whole town has been washed away. Using this note as a token, I might find a trace that will lead me to some info about that photograph. What up, buddy? Why are you standing behind me? Alright, 
All right, I guess we gotta go back out here. Where is he going? Off to the left, all right. Don't have to go in that room with the creepy doll. We have some feet hanging down or are we just gonna go straight through? I think we're going straight through, cool. All right, off to the right. See, the thing is, in the first two games especially, you wouldn't have to hold down the right trigger to see where the spooky ghosts are at. You could just see them. Like, they would just pop up at the end of a hallway and just be like, Hey, fuck you, buddy, I'm gonna scare you now. See, that was smart. I've got one on my right, though, which I'm not happy about. I got one behind me, I'm sure of it. There we go. Hey, I'm haunting here. Fucking hell, why are you... Oh, fuck. Save you, buddy. Gotcha. Caught you there, buddy. Yeah, there was a ghost, like, right behind you. You didn't even see him. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, so instead of doing this, where you hold down the right trigger and it shows you, like... Fuck, I missed him. It would literally just have... A ghost, like, blip past at the end of a hallway. And be like, oh, okay, I need to go that way then. There's an item down here. Are we gonna get grabbed? No, nope. we're good. Sensei, they say that if you look up at the third floor veranda, you'll see someone looking back down. Really? I'm sorry. Pale blue light is visible through the window. It looks like moonlight. Okay, they go that way. Okay, cool. But yeah, the first two games would always set you up with like a ghost flitting past at the end of a hallway instead of holding down right trigger to basically pull up a waypoint. Uh, okay, we're good. <laughs> It's a cool idea in theory, but in practice, that whole thing where, like, the ghosts will grab when you go to pick something up doesn't really work the way that you want it to. It has to be, like, set points and, and throughout the course of the game instead of, like, it could happen at any time. Because now I'm preparing myself for every time I pick up an item. Alright, camera's reacting to the door. Oh yeah, I gotta tilt the viewfinder. There we go. The fucking vent. Of course the vent! Oh, on the second floor? We're on the second floor, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I don't remember the duck to being... Hey there, buddy! Just hanging out? Yeah, he's just hanging out. Have your suicide note there, buddy. Alright, 
right, soiled notebook. Like the one found in the old building, it looks like it belonged to the innkeeper. Uh, even before the landslide, there were always strange things going on around here. Some years ago, two girls went missing on a college field trip. The police were stumped. A few days later, one of the girls turned up again, seemingly out of her mind. There were lots of theories, but most people believe they were simply spirited away again. A girl came back each year looking to look for a friend, like some sort of pilgrimage. Ah. Countless people have gone missing here over the years. We're all used to it by now. My father was spirited away too as was the folklorist Keiji Watari. Next it'll be my turn, I bet. I'll vanish with the rest of them. I doubt anyone will think of coming to look for me. It's a little weird. What we got down here? Looks like medicine. Well, they should make it, like, so that those hands grab you when... Like, whenever the, it's already tense. Anytime we just have a fucking disappearance every week. Just every week, someone dis just ups and disappears. I'm trying to grab something, buddy. Alright, we got some film. Can I? I cannot walk across there. This is very sort of, it's not quite tank controls, but it's tank controls adjacent. You know what? I don't hate the jank. Randomly disappearing is not a rare occurrence in Japan. This is true. Like, just up and disappear. Alright, so we went up the stairs and I think it's just down here to the left. You gonna pop open there for me, buddy? There we go. Something in there among the pipes. I'm definitely getting grabbed here. Alright, cool. We didn't get grabbed. It's a thing of beauty. Hey buddy, you're gonna get fucking gut if you don't get the fuck out of there, buddy. Oh, sweet, I got it with fail frame because it was next to my buddy. I seriously need to start locking on. Because if I lock on, then it'll, like, show me how much health they have. Alright, back up the stairs. Yeah, this, this, this just feels much more straightforward than the first two games. Like, the fact that it's broken up into chapters as well helps. There hasn't really been anything, like... Ah, you fuckers. <laughs> there we go. That's what we wanted. That's a fucking... That's a throwback to fucking... Uh, Dino Crisis, that is. You know, don't go near the windows because the fucking raptor's going to jump in at you. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, this guy's got weak knees. He must have been a terrible basketball player when he was alive.
Oh, you fucker. Where the fuck is he? Oh god. He's there. Oh god, he's still coming for me. Alright, he's done. Yeah, that whole thing with, like, stuff crashing through the windows just brings me back to Dino Crisis. So, note. The place has gone from a tourist hotspot to a suicide hotspot, but I suppose that was always the case. This mountain and death go together side by side. Mikamori was once known as the Gro Grove of Shrine Maidens. A sacred grove where the mountain's maidens oversaw the deaths of pilgrims, Using their passing to the other side. I like that. I envy it. I wish someone would be there to see me off. Is that the man who wrote this note? Maybe I'll find something upstairs. Rui, are you, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> someone just fucking yote themselves off the fucking roof. That's interesting. See, just as I was getting comfortable, just as I was like, oh yeah, you know, it's not as bad, someone fucking throws himself through the window at me. Fucking typical. Woman who was hanged. All right, upstairs we go, I guess. All right, to the left. And through this door. All right, we're on the roof. And transfixed by sunset. You gonna go? He's full of glass. There he goes. Well, see you, buddy. Grab a notebook paper on the floor. Looks like there's something written on it. Sunset beckons. It's calling me into the water. This is the right thing to do. Yeah, it's always with the water. What the fuck? Back? Can't even describe how good this dinner smells. Well, what's what's on the menu today, Doc? Let's grab this film. We had a good jump scare earlier. Someone came crashing through a window, and it reminded me of uh, Dino Crisis. Alright, where are we headed? Crispy chicken and bacon alfredo with spinach, parmesan, and chives. Nice. Sounds delicious. Door must be locked from the other side. It's officially a Dark Souls game. The door is locked from the other side. I don't know why I was supposed to see earlier, but something... Hold my attention over this way. What's behind door number two? Man staring at something. But what exactly is he staring at? Whole room is charred. That man might have left something behind. If he did, it'll likely be hidden. This must be where the innkeeper moved. Fuck. Wrong fucking shit. Wasting film. There we go. One more hour and you're done? Man, Mondays, am I right? Something's coming. Oops, are coming. Dude, stay away from the edge. Oh, there's rope now? 
you should definitely stay away from the edge. My guy. Get that rope out from around your neck. Really? I'll go and grab him then. Fucking exhausted. What's wrong? Is, is, is something there? Is a spoop? And she's got. She's making rope noises, and I'm not a fan. Now she's like floating in midair. She's walking on sunshine. Where the fuck? Rotating the camera stuff is kind of cool. Like getting everything into the to the one shot. Wait, there's like an extra thing there. Nice. She's got an extra, like, circle just above her head where the rope is, I assume. Alright, I think I got her. Maybe I didn't. What the fuck are you doing? Fucking hurry up and die. There we go. Holy shit. What are you doing? Fucking around with ropes. Can't you remember anything? I can't even tell if that's a boy or a girl, so... Ah, uh, here we go. The old maiden's back. What does she want now? What is Rui doing? It's like... I don't really know what to do in these situations. It keeps fucking moving as well, which is worse than ideal. Can you move out of the way, please, Rui? Like, I appreciate that you're here, helping out with my research. Alright, that's cool. You can get, like, a fail frame if Rui is in the shot as well. Going. Oh, you're going that way. Is that it? Did we get her? Alright, we got her. <laughs> oh man, did that one not fucking trigger? Run! She's a ghost and a <laughs> A little bit of a delay on that one. Woman dressed like a shrine maiden. Is she connected to the note that I found? The note here, it seems to have been singed a little by fire. How the postmortem photographs was assembled by a folklorist who lived on the mountain. 
His name was Keiji Watari. Watari? He became fascinated by the custom and moved to Mount Hikami to study how it spread through Japan. My father seemed to take an interest in these photos as well. Strange foreign customs always fascinated him. While he was running the inn, he helped Watari collect post-mortem photographs from the nearby town. On Mount Hikami, water itself was defied. Or oh, deified. Deified. English is my first language. It seems like Watare wanted to get a deeper understanding of this unique outlook, so he set up a house in the forest to experience it firsthand. He was greatly aided by my father, who had already set up the inn at, by that point. He remodeled it from an old, unused shrine, I think. Or well, I think he thought the extra-religious heft would help attract more visitors. One day, the folklorist went missing. Several people formed a search party, but they were unable to find a trace. Even the road to his house seemed to have been lost to the woods. My father scoured the mountain too, but all he found was that photo album. He was soaking wet when he got back. I remember he was acting strangely. His eyes had this curious glint, almost like he'd been possessed by something. Next thing I knew, my father went missing as well. I've forgotten about the photos until I found them in the old building, after the landslide, but now I understand why my father left Watare too. These photos are so beautiful. Eji Watare, a folklorist who lived on Mount Nakami. Ahsoka probably has some books about him. We should get back. Rui needs to rest. Photo album left behind by the innkeeper was put together by a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. As Ren and Rui explored the inn and traced the spirit of its owner, a ghost tried to lure Rui to suicide. Then, through the pouring rain, an ominous shrine maiden appeared. Ren and Rui left the mountain with more questions than when they started. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da, we got an A! Alright. So that's probably gonna do it for today. We got an interlude? We got prologues? We got chapters? We got interludes? Alright. That is definitely gonna do it for today because I'm getting back into it. So we are gonna go ahead and Head on over to the... You know what? Let's go see Marta. Interludes. Let's go see Marta. Marta is playing Apex Legends, as it is Monday. It is Shootman's Day today. I don't know why I tried to pause the fucking stream. On her end, I just needed to mute it. Alright, everyone. I'm gonna come. I am gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put us on to the thanks for watching screen. I will be back tomorrow. And I'm not sure what with just yet. But it will probably be a Metroidvania of sorts. Um, oh yeah, raid message. Spooky ghost raid with a uh, spooky ghost raid. Alright, be sure to spam that. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow probably with uh, Sundered. I've been looking at that this week. Either that or Vigil. One of the two Metroidvanias. We shall see. But yes, hit Marta with a good spooky ghost raid and I will catch you all as always. Oh, let me copy and paste on the flip side. <laughs>